Hey, look at this. It looks like they set up for us. Oh my God, they did. Look at this. Homemade kind of banana bread. Look, and a half-eaten cookie. <laughs> I can tell they have kids or grandkids or something. They have a little fairy garden here. How cute is that? I want to say something to you about zucchini bread. You would never get 100% this pond will get bigger. That rock will be pulled out. We'll put a stream in right along here, right along that awesome hot tub and coming down into a pond right here. Can you picture it? I can picture it. Hello there. <laughs> So I'm Greg Whitstock the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Whitstock the Pond Guy. And I get to tour around and see my certified aquascape contractors, the projects that they built. I'm with Chris Sturdivan down oh, here in central Illinois, longtime CAC, and his beautiful wife, Jackie. Here you go. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get my hug. And this is a pond you built 2011, you said? Look at this. Look at this whole area. You would not expect in this neighborhood with this house to have this little pergola back here in this little living area that all was created, I guarantee you, from the water feature, correct? Yes. The first thing I see are these beautiful lilies and then I look and it's still going and it goes all the way down there by that pond. So they live on a retention pond and I'm gonna make a guess right now. It's actually two separate features. You've got a pond here and you got a pond that's spilling over. Is that true? It's a trade secret, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it makes it look like it just flows with this rock, but you just probably have a spillway down right below here and it goes down and goes right into the retention pond. Now, how cool is that? This is what more people do now. Does he irrigate out of this retention pond? What's that pump yeah, down there yeah. for? They just pump out of there and use this water in the yard because they're big yard people. Yeah, I love this. A waterfall is going into the retention pond and a beautiful aquascape water feature. Explain to me the construction of this, Chris. This one here was, you can tell it's on a big hill, so what we had to do, we had to take this dirt, flop it over here. Yeah. They wanted like a garage or something here and they couldn't build it. They wanted it as close as Hey, look at this. It looks like they set up for us. Oh my God, they did. Let's go over there. See, you would never have a customer do this if you cut their lawn. But a pond customer, you're gonna have something like this. Look at this, homemade kind of banana bread in here. Wow, that's pretty nice. Look, and a half-eaten cookie. <laughs> I guess they were sitting here waiting for us. Yes. Hey, Jackie, come and get some zucchini bread. <laughs> All right, tell me about the construction of this. They wanted a water feature suck out of there and come up here and just waterfall. And they wanted fish and everything. I said, well, you can't have that because they'd end up. So then I said, why don't we do it this way, build a bigger pond up here so the fish can stay. If not, they're going to make the trip. And they didn't understand and they go, well, just do what, do whatever you're saying because it sounds like it might work. <laughs> they, so, they leap of faith. Yeah, leap of faith and they love it. Water on this side of, of the Champagne has a wa brown water can. Every pond has, we can't get it. And we can never ever get this clean until the day the dosing system came out. So this pond is an automatic doser, which is why you have clear water. So down here is the automatic doser. And so right there, you just pop out the doser. And then what do they have in here? So there's maintain, there's clean, there's clear, there's maintain. And depending on what water conditions you have, all you have to do is change out the bag once a month and we'll add the water treatments for you. We try to develop products that will improve the consumer's experience. I can tell they have kids or grandkids or something. They have a little fairy garden here. How cute is that? Look at that little frog. Look at a little brown tree frog there. So that's where it comes. And right under there is a waterfall diffuser. And you can't even see it with the rock on top of it. When you get under there, you'll see it. So that is what makes the water flow evenly, is that waterfall diffuser there. So right there's the biological filter, the biofalls, waterfalls coming down here. Look at that. In case anybody wants to know who built this, everybody that comes will know that Chris built it. <laughs> Beautiful water quality. These plants need to be divided. If you ever see a little tip like this, plants growing above the surface like that, it's because they're getting root bound. So that can be divided. These ones are more floating on the surface. That one needs to be divided. Look at those beautiful water lilies, gorgeous pond, some dwarf cattails over there. Cut leaf sumac, love the statuary. I'm not sure what client of this plant is, but I, I love the color of it. More statuary. And then of course this seating area that didn't exist and they didn't have a water feature here. This is called living the aquascape lifestyle, buddy. Good job. I want to say something to you about zucchini bread. You would never get zucchini bread 
probably from a guy that you did landscaping for. But when you do a decorative water feature, we like to say you change a house into a home. Every Aquascape water feature is a unique work of art, one of a kind custom creation. I mean, look at this. Look at this little paradise that they have. And the relationship with the customers is different than with a landscape customer because water is the source of life and you're creating something that creates a sanctuary, a beautiful place for them to get to. So the relationships with a pond customer, a water feature customer is different than a landscape customer because of what you create for them. And that's what I love about my job. That's why I like to say I love my job. That's what I love about my art is that we create beautiful sanctuaries. If you're interested in having your own sanctuary, check out a link below from the Certified Aquascapes Contractors. And if you're interested in a profession that allows you to build art and love your job, check out the link below to find out career opportunities, not just with Aquascape, but any one of our Certified Aquascape Contractors. We hire for attitude, we train for aptitude. I love zucchini bread. Chris's Water Gardens. This is a little bit different of a stop, right? Yes, yes. Because you did not build this one. No, it's great. Thank God I didn't because it's new subdivision, concrete soil. Hello. Oh! Go on to the next house, ma'am. <laughs> so you are the homeowner that built their own pond, I heard. Yeah. I'm the I pond am. guy, Greg. Nice to meet you. And you are? Mary Jo. Hi, Mary Jo. Nice to meet you. Chris Durdivan. Hello, Chris. <laughs> no, I, I'm really sorry for you. <laughs> <laughs> I like this lady already. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic, ladies. So you built this as well? I did. Hi, I'm Jennifer. Jennifer and Mary Jo. I'm yeah. the pond guy, Greg. How long ago did you guys build this? Um, a year ago. Yeah. Okay. So Chris was kind of one of your mentors on this? He was, absolutely. So tell me how this whole thing came about, Mary Jo. I have wanted a pond forever. Smart lady. As soon as I moved to Champaign, I decided I'm going to make a pond. She was against it. Why were you against the pond? I was against it because it was a lot of work. I was bound in tournaments, and then I checked Facebook, and I seen this crazy guy here. Yeah. And I decided I'm going to do it. And I went to his seminars and decided, by God, I'm going to do it. And you did. And we did. Your aquascape and little video clip yeah. and how to build a pond. Yep. Well, ladies, I'm gonna. Two of us did it. And I'm gonna say something right now. I love the biofalls. You got the skimmer in here. Beautiful, healthy water. How many fish do you have? Four. I'm gonna say that you did a pretty darn good job. I'm very impressed. And Chris said, I said, why are you taking me to a pond you didn't build? He goes, just wait. And now I see what. We used his. Uh, You're not gonna say. No, I'm not gonna say it. But we did use him a lot. Or notebooks or exactly. <laughs> you picked his brain a little bit. <laughs> Well, yes, we picked his brain a lot, but you got some red attraction. I mean, everything seems to be doing so well. So now that you have lived with the water feature, what do you think? It's beautiful. I love it. I love that we can open the screen door and hear the water. This is gorgeous. What do people that come over to your house say? They love it. They love it. Absolutely yeah, we have love it. So, we've said so many things about Chris and what he does, and we have a couple friends who are you ready to build. face. Nope. And I won't. But I'll tell Jack any time. <laughs> Well, I bet you guys spend a lot of time out here. We do. There is nothing that will draw you outside as much as a water feature because you come out and check on the fish and you see what the birds and the water, it just relaxes you. They, they build it and they yes. will come. Yes, they do. Okay, can I give you some tips? Yes, we're ready. Okay, we're ready. the sedums are starting to cover up. Yeah. It's a little... I like the green. That's what we have yeah. about. It's hard to get used to the... Fuzz. She's the got green a, fuzz. You know, the green, the green fuzz. fuzz. Oh, that's... But see, that's natural. If you didn't have this in the pond, uh, you'd have green water. Oh. So you either have this on the rocks, because algae is a natural plant. This is a healthy Good. thing. So if you didn't have this there, the water would be green. You have crystal clear water, you have sunlight, you have nutrients, you're going to get some algae. Now, if you want to control it and knock it down to probably like that, like it is right now, you use an ion gen. And that's what we haven't bought yet. Yes. Yeah. But so that's, the, our yes. next, that's our next purchase. But honestly, this looks natural. If, if it looked like that, then the, the water would be green. So I would just say, like where you have areas like this where the sedums are growing, mm -hmm. it helps soften it up. You know, you got a hosta sticking in there. You got some cattails here. You could take some of those rocks out okay. on the side and soften up the edges a little bit. The plants are doing a great job softening it up right now, but I just think you could remove about 20 or 30 rocks. They would look more natural. Okay. And then, of course, as the plants grow, it's going to continue to look. Right. But for a homeowner built pond, I mean, first homeowner built pond, I'd say it's a 9.5. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You should, should have seen it. 
it was like concrete. It was nasty. They getting in conditions in here were hard. When I came here, the, the day we had came to answer questions, more questions. But it was Doug. I said, "You guys dug through this dirt? How?" They go shovels. Well, it's it's a newer subdivision. It's backfill from the basement. It was concrete. So, what was the biggest thing that you learned through this process of building your own pond? Like, what was the thing that you, you know, that Chris was helpful with? The one thing that Chris said was go big. Uh -huh. You know, and I wish we would have gone bigger. Always. You know, but <laughs> but we also. <laughs> what she admitted it or something or she what? She just oh my lands. But Can I have I, a tape of that, please. <laughs> yes, hundred percent. But you know, I wasn't sure about the roots of the tree, and I didn't want to. You know, I. Oh yeah, the no land problem. Around and stuff. So See, and I, I wanted to, to be go able to walk away out there. You will be. You'll be pulling out this boulder right here. You'll be putting a stream in, and it'll be coming right to the other side, right down there. 100%. It's not even a debate. Just so you know, listen, the average person gets three water features. Big, bigger, biggest. Yeah. Good, better, best. And right now, you got a pretty nice pond, but 100%, there's going to be, that boulder's going to be removed, and there's going to be a stream, and there's going to be a bigger <laughs> pond down there, and you could swim in it. The leveling part was probably one of the hardest. I think it scared us the most, but you know. You, you so. did good. So you got the mechanical skimmer right over here. Just handles all the surface debris. So what would you say about the maintenance? The maintenance is very easy, really. Yes, there's really no maintenance. Just keeping my leaves out. So when the leaves blow in, you empty the skimmer bag. It's yeah. like having somebody cut your lawn and you empty it. Exactly. Do you have an automatic doser on here? Yes, we do. Yeah. yeah, the water looks good, so I thought you had an automatic yes. doser. So the automatic yeah. doser will help with that clean water. Yep. Aww. <laughs> so what's this guy's name? Tucker. Tucker. Beautiful pup. How old? Looks pretty young. Three. So 100%, this pond will get bigger. That rock will be pulled out. We'll put a stream in right along here, right along that awesome hot tub and coming down into a pond right here. Can you picture it? I can picture it. A water feature is never done, and especially when it brings this much into it. I love that these two ambitious ladies did this themselves, and my channel really is about focusing on how certified aquascape contractors create lifestyles for others and how people decorate and design their water features. But you know what? If you're an ambitious hobbyist like these people are, certified guys can help you do it. All you need to do is reach out to them. They'll sell you the materials. They'll even come let you come out and do some classes with them because we want to get more people living the aquascape lifestyle, and in particular, we want pond is them right, customer serve right. When you see a beautiful pond like this, that's a first year pond with that kind of crystal clear water, that means the things are working. That means the system works. Hey, if you love this stuff, please like, comment, and share so more people can see what living the aquascape lifestyle, even if they build it themselves, is all about. I love my art.